I'm going to be upgrading today my QNAP TS451 Plus to 16 gigs of RAM. Here's the 16 gig kit, two sticks of eight, DDR3. The, according to the specs, this box could only go up to eight gigs, but I've been on Reddit and people are saying, and even sent me screenshots showing that this box can actually, or this NAS can go to 16 gigs. So we're gonna try it out and let's get started. Okay, so to get started, what I'm gonna do is, because my drives are pre-populated with hard drives, is I'm gonna label them so I know what order to put them back in after, so. I'm just using some sticky notes. Should hold good enough. And then you're gonna wanna pop them out, so just pull like that. Then the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is pull out your Phillips head screwdriver, turn it around, and unscrew the four screws right here. Make sure to put them in a safe spot, that way you don't lose them. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is turn it over and here you're going to see a lock. I don't know if you can see that. There's a lock and unlock and what we're going to want to do is just slide this. So I'm just going to lay it down here and just pull the case like so. Fairly easy. It is plastic though so I'm always worried. And then off. Or it comes up, just lift it up. Okay, so the next thing that looks like we're gonna have to do is remove these four screws here. You can see they're marked off in red. So I'm just gonna remove those. One, two, three, four. And then there's also two more up here that we have to remove so that it gets off the chassis. You just have to be careful in lifting up. So we actually had to just remove these two screws here, the two inner ones, uh, the smaller screws, and then just lift up because the PCI card is right there. So just be careful with that. You don't want to damage that. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to want to do, and I'll just zoom in here, is you're just gonna to wanna to press these two levers here. Just spread them to the side so that way the ram comes up. And there we go, and then just slowly slide it out. So here's the removal of the old ram. Okay, so I'm gonna put the first stick in the harder slot here. No wonder they put the ram in the other slot first. There we go. And you just wanna be careful when you're putting this in. They don't damage the ram. Okay, there we go. So now it's fully in, and now you just push it down, and it's in there. There we go. Pop it in, and now we'll assemble it back up again. So what you want to do is make sure it's going to the, the slot here and then press down firmly but gently and then start putting in the screws again. Okay. 
Okay, so now all six screws are back in there. Now I'm just gonna put on the case. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna align the unlock symbol with the arrow. And then once it looks like it's there, you just push it back. And now it's locked into place. Okay, so now all the screws have been put back in, and we're going to proceed to be putting in our drives. Okay, so now the upgrade's been complete, and I'll show it powering on. Okay, so now I'm just going to be plugging back the power. Hard drives are spinning. It detects hard drive one, hard drive two. It's doing the LAN check, and then it should hopefully find the US, the extra USB. Seems to be booting up just fine. So I'm just gonna pause it for a second. When I come back, I'll be taken to the system screen so we can see if it's showing the new 16 gigs of RAM. So we're back. I just finished logging into my console here. And we're just going to check to see what the system says for the max RAM that's currently installed. So we're going to go to control panel. And then we're going to go to system status here. And when we look here, what does it say? 16 gigabytes. According to the specs, it's shown to be able to go to 8, but these sticks work fine. Here, the memory slots are showing... 2, 8 gig, and 8 gig. And yep, worked. I'll be sure to put the model number that I used for the RAM in the description below. So if you want to go out and buy it, um, obviously it works. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Till next time.